I remember the the day that I met TQ properly, and uh, he heard me live, and he was like, you know, I'll, I'll send you something. I was head over heels for that guy. I still am. And, he's uh, brilliant. He's yeah. brilliant. He's amazing. Brilliant man. He's he's a wizard, man. Oh, like straight oh, up. Okay, right there. I want to stop you. Sorry. What was it like working with him? And also, how did that come together, dude? So how it came together was I was just like I was performing live and uh, he was there as well with Manu and Siki. And uh, he just heard me and I was like, I'm a huge fan. And he was like, dope, I'll send you something. And then he did. And then the first track that we worked on, it kind of looked just like uh, it was good for the time. I thought it was really good. Yeah. But then like, dude, the thing about working with TQ is every time he sends you something, you're just like, with the mag mere fresh ho jata hai ki ye banda kya cheez hai. You you think you've made your peace with the fact that he's he's a wizard. Yeah. But then he comes back and he kind of reiterates it in a different musical way and you just like keep getting blown away. That's how it is with TQ. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like this 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 the sounds I hear on his tracks are just like like I said earlier like they fill your ear up. They're so whole. Did I say I was head over heels for TQ? Yes. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you and and you should be. Yeah. <laughs> like, that guy is fucking like brilliant, no, no, now I'm thinking that that may have been been like more of a romantic way of saying <laughs> yeah. it. Um, head over heels. Oh, <laughs> no judgments here, man. I thought it was yeah. romantic. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh my God. But yeah, I mean, uh, and like, I think it was uh, uh, Konata, the last bit of Konata, if I'm not wrong, where... Are you talking about TQ? Yeah. I'm gonna stop you right there. That's not TQ. No way. Koi bought me. No, 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 no. Sorry, not... Uh, what was the one boxers he did with mean? Manu? No, no, the, the one he did with Manu. Because I just remember... Yeah, Boxers of his, Amin. Okay, maybe not that as well. Oh, well maybe it was Bump Tour. I don't remember. But it was one of those songs... I think, I think it was Let me see you do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah Pesa, Pesa. Pesa, Pesa, Pesa there we go. That's the yeah. one. Thank you. That's why... Because Manu, I confused. As, uh, I'm, I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning, guys. I'm sorry. There are Hassan Rahim as well, right? Yeah. Not yeah. Pesa, the, the one I mentioned previously. Yeah. Uh, Konata. That's Pesa Hassan. Sorry. Yeah, that's yeah. Hassan Antilal as well. <laughs> but, but at the end of that there's a beat switch is all I want to talk oh, about yeah. this one beat switch <laughs> that's it where he completely converts that song into something which is completely different has the same elements of the song Too good. keeps yeah. the characteristics yeah. of the song you can understand it's the same song but now it's like like now it's almost like a trappish like hard really hard beat Grungy. that yeah. makes me go like whoa my yeah. god what just happened <laughs> and like, I like that whoa <laughs> like, that was so natural like whoa <laughs> like, it, but that's what happened because I remember I was at the end of the song and I was like okay what am I listening to next because that's how my brain works I have to check out what's I'm, what I'm doing next uh-huh. so I went down I was just about to switch the next song and then the beat switches like dumb and I was like wait a minute <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we put this to the side that guy's incredible yeah. man yeah, yeah, it's incredible. And what has been your experience like working close to him? Like, what what kind of a worker is he, in your mind? Dude, he's he's just like focused as fuck, and um, I think the reason he's so good is that he's um, he's so truly in love with sound. Like I see it when he's talking about music or when he's working on his stuff. He's just like in another dimension when he's doing his thing. And I feel like that's where, you know, something genuine and something really good comes from. Yeah. Yeah. I get that. And what about your own, like, uh, experiences with production? How did, like...